Welcome back to So Denim Quilting. I'm Glenda Burton. And if you're just joining me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And today I am going to finish up this quilt with the binding. I did make my backing bigger so that I can use my backing as my binding. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna go ahead and trim it one inch away from my quilt. Use my fancy, these were for my other markings. Let's turn these off so they don't confuse me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and line up my marker on the one inch mark and trim down my sides. Okay. I'm going to do this all the way around and then I'll come back and I will clip it. So you don't have to watch me run around the whole thing as it falls off the table. All right, we've trimmed up to our inch so that we can create our binding. And because I'm working on a very small table, I have basically folded it up into little sections onto the table so it's easier to move across my table and it's not hanging down and being extra weighty. This helps me move it across my ironing board. And the reason I'm ironing my binding or my extra backing that I'm using as my binding is because I'm using denim and it's very thick and it's very hard to manipulate. So if I iron it, that kind of gets it already flat for me and that then I can, it'll be easier to sew because denim is really thick to sew through. So this is just a tip for you. And I'm using a very hot iron, as hot as it'll go, and it, and it, it is set to steam to help me hopefully relax the denim a little bit and it'll lay flatter. And because I use larger, I use larger blocks, so my seams aren't matching up, so there's a little less bulk there. Here goes the steam. It's hot. Steam is hot. Who would have figured? And I'm using lots of clip, wonder clips to hold it down. And then I'm going to come back afterwards and I'm going to fold it over, fold over my binding. But first I'm going, I'm, what I'm doing is just ironing it in half. Clipping it down, ironing it in half and clipping it down so that it makes it lie flatter and it'll fold over a little bit easier. And hopefully, I won't have bob uh bu bubbles, loose pieces. I'm just using a, a Black & Decker Walmart special for $9.99. Yes, would I like one that's a little fancier? Yeah, but this is what I have, and it works. 
Nothing fancy. It does the trick. It gets hot. It has steam. Like that might be need to be trimmed before I flip it over to get rid of some of the bulk. Getting to the end of my clippers. I'm coming up to the end. And I'm not going to miter my corners on this one because of the bulk. Because the denim is so bulky and I'm using it as a backing and a binding. I'm just going to go ahead and do square corners this time. Okay, now let's move this hot iron out of the way so I don't burn. So I don't burn myself. That would not be a good. That would not be a good thing. I don't think. Uh, I don't need any burns. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start laying this up top and using my clips as. Let's see how thick that is already. I may have to cut some bulk out of it. Basically, I'm just going to go down the side and make sure everything's flat. Adjusting as I, adjusting as I go. Might be might be easier to do this on my table without the without the ironing board on top. And when I go to sew this, sew this, I'm going to make sure that I have replaced my needle. So I'm starting with a brand new needle because I need a good sharp needle, denim needle, to go through all this. Because this is going to be really tough to get through. Almost might be better to hand sew it. But I'm going to try. I won't know till I try. So basically I'm just going to go around the whole thing. And continue on until it's all flipped over and ready to sew. When I'm done binding it, I will bring it back and show you the finished product. All right, we're back. I got the binding done and it turned out to be 60 by 60 inches. Uh, I'll give you all the material in the list below in the description below thanks for following along on this journey of making our starry night quilt if you like this video hit like if you like to see other videos i post hit the subscribe button see you in the next video